Formulas in Google Sheets use references that are relative by default. What relative means is that if you drag a formula, the cells that the formula references will change. As you see here in cell E2, we have a formula that equals B2 plus C2. Since the value of B2 is 1 and the value of C2 is 2, the result of the formula is 3. Now if we copy cell E2 and paste it into a different cell, or try and drag the formula down, both will result in the new formula returning 0, since the formula is no longer adding the values to cells B2 and C2. If we go back to edit the formula, we can make the cell references absolute by adding the dollar sign in front of both the letter and the number referencing the cell. Now when we copy cell E2 or drag the formula down, the result will still be 3, since the formula in the new cells will still reference B2 and C2. In this case, we locked both the column and the row by placing the dollar sign in front of both the letter and the number of the cell reference. However, if we want to, we could lock just one. As an example, let's go back to cell E2 and let's add a dollar sign in front of the letters but not the numbers. Since the letters represent the columns and the numbers represent the rows, this means that the cell references will still be absolute if we drag the formula left or right, but the cell references will be relative if we drag the formula up or down. We could do the opposite if we remove the dollar sign in front of the letters and add them in front of the numbers. Now when we drag the formulas up and down, the references will be absolute, but when we drag the formula left and right, the references are relative. Finally, we can make some cells absolute and some cells relative. By adding dollar signs in front of both the letters and the numbers of cell B2, but removing the dollar sign from C2, will result in maintaining an absolute reference to B2, but the formula will not remain on C2 as we drag the formula down. There is a shortcut to switch between absolute and relative references, which can be done by pressing the F4 key when the cell reference is highlighted. To show an application where using relative and absolute references would be helpful, let's say we have a Google Sheet set up to help us calculate the price of an order for our bike store. Our bike store sells three items, bike frames, bike tires, and bike seats. Each order could have any combination of these parts in any quantity. So for each order, we track the quantity of each part ordered. To calculate the total price of each order more efficiently, we can multiply the quantity of each part in order 1 by the price per part. However, if we apply that formula to other orders, by dragging the formula down, we can see that since the cell referencing quantities are relative, we are picking up the correct cells, but we will have to change the cell referencing for price to be absolute, so those cells don't change. By using the F4 hotkey, we can quickly change and add the dollar signs to the three cells referencing the price. Now, dragging down that formula will work as required. To check out other helpful Google Sheet videos, click on the videos on the right, and if you found this video helpful, consider subscribing to our channel.